Hey guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing good on this sensational Saturday. I'm doing good. I just got off of work a couple of hours ago and I'm just relaxing and it's peaceful. I got this relaxing morning music on even though it's the afternoon, well the evening. <laughs> so my video is about Twin Flame 101. When you start releasing the bad, you let room in for the good. Okay. So I hope everybody's doing good. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you so much for coming. Welcome with love and light and many blessings to you. If you are recurring sub, thank you so much for coming back. Um, guys, I've been laying low. It's just like so many good things has been happening. So many th tragic things have been happening, but it was a blessing in disguise. Like, I'm having stuff just present itself to me left and right, left and right, left and right. And it's just so crazy. It's just so crazy to me. And I just keep seeing signs that everything is going to be okay. I keep hearing my dad saying, baby, relax. Just relax. Remember what you told me? Relax. <laughs> And I said, stop being funny. Anytime I notice, like, when I'm in a down mood, he's always making jokes. Making jokes, or I have a picture that'll pop up, and he's making a crazy face, like, you know, or, you know, making one of them goofy faces, like he's always making it. Somebody puts a meme up about him or whatever. So, it's just like, when you let go of the bad, you you'll start seeing so many beautiful things that's happening, even though it might not be exactly right now. <laughs> but you can see the the point where it's supposed to be leading to where you're supposed to be. And with me releasing things, I don't even think about my family no more. The family that abused me, you know, that I went through all the stuff with. Um, I don't even think about them anymore. It's just me on my goal is being with my family that loves me. I, I don't have time to sit up here and put energy in on people that no longer serve me, no longer make themselves relevant to my life. You know, it, it, it was just like a really bad tragedy, but I live send them on with love and blessings and you know I pray for them all the time but it's just like when I think about them I don't get mad I don't I don't feel anything I don't know what it is but I just don't feel anything because it, it, it just felt so good like this morning I think it was like around around 1 32 o'clock uh, I was listening to Pandora and the song with T.I. and Justin Timberlake came on Dead and Gone and I was like you know what that fits me right now it's just like I've been on that path for so long you know that's not my path anymore that's not where I want to be you know all that anger and hatred and stuff that these people had did to me that I can't take personal because obviously there was something that was wrong with them for them to have to do that to somebody because no normal person will go out their way to hurt somebody like that and put them through like, all that pure hell because it felt like I was in a nightmare that I could never wake up from because that is how much power I let them have over me even when I felt like I was okay and I said I let it go I was still thinking about it I was still thinking about it I got upset um, I was thinking about you know why did they do this to me? I'm angry. You know, I, I, I wasn't able to meet my dad and I wasn't able to experience all these things. But even though I have not been able to physically see him like on a day to day basis, like, you know, other daughters see their fathers. He's been actually here this whole time helping me heal. And it has made me out into a better person. And I'm just like, dang, you know, I mean, I, I just had a family member just a, like a few days ago <laughs> just come at me like with a a straight jab to the gut like I couldn't believe I could believe it because it was just like on the side of my mind I was just like could I trust them <laughs> you know really could I really trust them you know um and it was just like everything is meant to happen the way it happened you have to see you know let the mask come off you know and it, it's just everybody's mask is starting to come off and it's just like you know you you feel like you can't take no more but you don't even have to deal with it you don't have to you know it presented itself when it did you learn for what it was and keep it moving i just put it in my memory pocket <laughs> use it for what i need to because other than that i'm not worried about that that does not have nothing to do with me 
So I was just like, oh my goodness, you know, it is what it is. So it, it was just like, concentrate on what your goal is. You know what your mission is. You know, spread love throughout the world. Speak about some positive things. You know, yes, you went through this. You know, yes, you were, you know, act, you act just like your dad. You look just like your dad. But people tried to hide that, cover it up. And I'm just like, like my dad said, sun to a shadow, rose to a thorn. Hell has a fury like a woman scorn. I'm going to go about my business and be a force that can't be reckoned with. Because I'm not going to let this stuff that, that happened to me leave me in a bitter spot. I'm not going to let it happen. So it's just like when you guys are going through something, don't let that stuff here. You know, don't even let it stay in your mind. Just just think about the, the things that you're trying to reach, that your dreams. Don't worry. You don't have time to be worrying about all that stuff. That You know, you can't control that. You can't control anybody else's mouth and mind. You only can control yours and how you deal with things. When it presents yourself, present itself to you. And I had to learn that. It's like on an everyday basis, I have to learn something. And it's just like when I can talk to an ex co worker, and I'm just like, oh, you know, if I seen this person, I would just, you know, hug and smile or whatever, because you, you just don't have that hatred in your heart anymore. You know, even though they have did something to you. It was like, okay, you know, you've been through that, you've done it, got a t-shirt and a memory. That's no longer it. You know, I can see people that I, I you know, that's just jab me in any kind of way. And I would see them and give them a hug and say, you know, God bless you. You know, because I really just don't have time for that no more. And it's just like, since I'm letting all that stuff go, all this good stuff is starting to come in. And I just see signs all the time. It's like, I went um, to go somewhere and then I stopped at a stoplight and it was like 4 12 and it's just a mirror image of the 12 is 21 and then you know I see my ex was telling me huh imagine that and then I said what <laughs> and then next thing you know you see my dad's sign the actual sign sitting on somebody's car and I was just like wow you know and I just so happened to look down and it was like 4 12 and I was just like that's nothing but him because it was just on my mind everything that's going on and it's just so many good blessings that are coming and it's just like wow you know I can't believe it and it's just like when I know things are coming and then you there's nothing that nobody can do to stop that there's nothing nobody can do to stop that it's just I had to start blocking people I had to stop talking to people you know you see somebody have a conversation with them that's all about your business that's what I had to do but I know I just can't be dealing with you like I used to because no mm -mm. It, it's just no longer serves me because I noticed that a lot of people are starting to come in from my past and it's just like okay so how are you gonna deal with this person you knew what they did to you and it was some messed up stuff because you know it, it's sad when you can be friends with somebody and it's just you know sometimes you can open yourself up to be so vulnerable and you actually have some true friends out there that can keep you know what you tell them to themselves or uh they won't judge you or use the things that you tell them against you but it just so happened i had that that issue so when it presents myself present itself to me i i keep so calm and collective about things and i'm just like you know it is what it is you know you you, you was set up something just to see how a person will react to it you know, and it can be for the greater good, but you want to see where their mindset is at. Do you want to go ahead and continue down the path with these people? Do you want to uh, still talk to these people? You can still love them, but you don't, you can distance yourself away. You know, and I know it's just like with all these things that's coming on, you know, and some people will try to tell you, oh, you know, since you, you know, got big or whatever, or you're starting to do things and people are starting to pay attention to you, you act like you're too good for people. It's not about that. It is not about that at all. When you are going on a better path, there's just a lot of people are not going to be going on that road with you. It's just they were there for that moment. You take it for a lesson for what it was. And some people, sometimes people stay there for a season and sometimes stay for a lifetime. You got to choose which one is worth, you know, you tag along with or them tag along with you, vice versa. So it's just like I'm making room for things that are in a positive way 
I have to let go of all the negative things. So, guys, please forgive me if I've not stopped by and dropped a comment or show some love. I've been really going through it. And it's just like, since things are getting so tense right now, I have really been laying low when it comes to different videos and stuff like that. Because it's like the different vibes I'm feeling. It's just like I'm so highly sensitive. It's just all them different emotions that I'm getting from different people. And they can just say hi. And it, it, it's just too much for me right now. So it's just, guys, be patient with me. And I got some more further things coming up um that i will keep you guys posted um and i will talk to you later um many blessings to you i hope you can find something that resonates with you into this video just stay positive guys with this new moon coming and the shift coming there is new things that is just blessings are just going to start pouring out to everybody so just keep your fingers crossed on whatever you are going through it is going to get better trust me things are not going to always be like they were if you can look down two years from two years ago three years ago or even a year ago and look at how you are now and if you haven't changed boy you've been wasting your time <laughs> 11 11 so it, it's just you gotta look at how you were don't be 20 and then 20 you know 40 you know 20 years later and you you're, you have the same sight you had at 20 years old you wasted 20 years Muhammad Ali said that I don't know if I said the exact quote the right way but I hope you got what I was saying <laughs> so it's just things are getting things are getting better you know I'm, I'm starting to see little signs little names that you know relates to my family and stuff and sayings that I hear and different synchronicities Things are showing me that things are going to be better. Just relax and enjoy the ride. And I will talk to you later. Hit that notification button. Like it. Subscribe. And please come again. Even drop a comment. Please contact me. Hit me up. And I'll talk to you later. Peace. And be wild.